old man, see that name? Get him? Yeah! Yes! What in the world? Up in the pad. Holy cow! That was awesome! Gosh dang, it's a good one! <laughs> That's awesome. Put that thing in here. Holy moly. Not a better way to start today. What the heck happened? I was actually just fishing along the pads. Heard one blew up. I actually saw it blow so, up. Yeah, I saw it blow up. Threw a jig in. I mean, no more than hit the water. And he hit, and I hesitated a second before I set the hook, and he was on. Holy cow. Hunter yeah. fish, bass with both. Terry <laughs> shot right here on, you got me in some kind of tiny lake here. Uh, it's somewhere off the beaten path, I know that. Definitely off the beaten path. It is a public lake, though. It, it is. It is. You it know? is. And we're out here early, early on October 19, 2019. Hardly Beautiful before. day. Oh, my gosh. You got spectacular yeah. weather. And that's how you started off with a three-pounder. Fall fishing. Here it comes. That's your best. A little bit deeper you go. There's one. Going? Yeah, decent one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yes, sir. Oh, the jig fish. Need to be in a tournament today. Yes, sir. Oh, you got yourself from. another three pounder. What happened there, Like there's a two minute penalty. Two minute penalty, that's right. <laughs> this ain't major league fishing. This is a hunter fish, baby. There you go. That's it. Hunter there's fish, hunter put fish right there, son. Look there at that. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you know what he bit. That 9K Elite Lures jig. That's how you do it. Tell me that story. Yeah. There's one. That looks like a healthy fish. Yeah, healthy. A real healthy. You got a healthy fish, all right. Hey. Another jig fish. Oh, man. That's quality fish right there. A good fish. Now he wasn't on anything in particular. No, he was out, out just off the bank. Yeah, yeah. There's probably some weeds or old tree limbs in the water and a little lighter colored than those other ones. How you working your jig? You know, I'm not, most people kind of drag it. I kind of pop it. Mm -hmm. Just constantly popping it. I'll sit there and pop two or three times and let it set it back down. The time I do this when I'm fishing with a jig, for some reason I hold it like this. Mm -hmm. I don't do it with anything else. And I'll sit there and I'll pop it and I'm just slack lining it. And then you know, a lot of times I'll pick it up on the drop, but then when you go up and fill it, you know, and then pop it again. And it, it, it works. works. There's one. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, oh my gosh, it does. Damn it, Chris. There we go. That's got some weight. <laughs> yes, sir. Ugh. Yeah. Things are looking a little better. Jimmy, Chris. That toad. It's hard to put down that jig. Woo! Now that fish just, what was he on any of that it, wood or brush? Or just what? about where the water breaks, probably about two, three foot of water. God. So everything's been pretty shallow. Yeah, yeah, good. Nail that chatterbug. Eh, it's too shabby either, Terry. Another good one. I like fishing this <laughs> lake. <laughs> he wanted that chatterbug. Gosh dang, fall fishing. Chatterbugs, jigs, who would have thought? I, I tell you, I didn't think that jigs would be a good option right now on October 19th with 57 degree water. I really didn't. I usually, I don't put my jigs away, but I don't think of it as a pattern. It's going to play throughout, but we're finding out otherwise. We had a couple missed bites on jigs, so that's why I threw that chatterbug through there, give him a different look, and he ate that pretty good. So wouldn't it be cool if we could get a one-two punch going with the jig and the chatterbug? Put it on off. a little bit. Chatterbug, but a little tiny guy. They just weren't eating that thing. Got him? Got that one. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful noise, isn't it? Got a crankbait bite. I had to change it up a little bit. Yeah, that's not a, that's an all right sized fish there, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> my, oh my gosh. Hey, look at him out. Now, why did you switch that crankbait, Terry? Well, they seemed like they slowed down a little bit on the jig, and 
you'd been throwing the chatter bug a little bit and they slowed down, so I thought, well, maybe we need a reaction bite. And, and it worked. Switched up to a little crankbait. And now, what do you think? This weather this weather is weird for October 20th. I mean, this is dead calm. We're just sitting here in jeans and a hoodie. Well, last week the wind was blowing yeah. off the charts. So what do you think that does to the fish? Well, like right now, they seem to be moved up feeding. I don't know if that wind pushed them out. And they might have been feeding in, but you couldn't get out here and fish for them. Yeah. You know, just because it was too windy. So, yeah. and they know fall's coming. Them cold days probably sparked them, so we get a couple nice days, they're going to feed up. Ooh, we're going to have they a gotta get ready for. got to get ready for fall. Heavens, yes. We got an Alabama rig fish there, Terry. Looks like Ooh. a good one. Well, got them little Nessie swim baits from Loch Ness Lewis on there. Yeah, they're going to be good. He ain't too shabby. Oh, hey. fish. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. See how he ate that thing. Perfect. Just like he's supposed to. So this is real close to Terry caught that crankbait fish. And like I said, or he would say, you know, up there in shallow, there's a flat here leading up in this creek. And I mean, look at the belly. Look at that belly. Obviously, these fish are putting on the fall feed, baby. Yeah, we got an A-rig bite. Yeah. He ain't too big, but the good one, one he ate. He ate that back hook, back bait, I should say. I got five of them on an IU color, and then I took one, and it's a white one. You can see it's actually not a, it's a white one here, and sometimes that's how you catch them. Get that back bait. Oh, buddy, if we catch them on A-Rigs, I'm going to be excited. How about this spot? We'll see how big he is and see how he's hooked, but I think we got, I think one. we got a big one. He's a good one. It's a hunter fish moment. Yeah, it ain't too shabby. Well, he's not the five pounder I thought initially he was, but <laughs> we'll take it. We will take it. Hold it there. Something. Oh, gosh, hey. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Want me to get the net? No, hunter fish, no nets allowed. No net. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I noticed gosh. there was one in the boat. There actually is. Nitro puts it behind the seat nicely. That's a pretty fish. Oh my gosh. Blind in one eye. It makes up for that one you didn't catch on Winona. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look how pretty this guy is. is. Holy moly. That is. Tell you what, you're not using some Loch Ness Lures blade baits, or excuse me, swim baits. That's why you do it! Holy moly, now I know everyone's going to make fun of me because I did catch one fish with a blind eye, but jeez, that's how it's done, that's sir! A good one. And a half, so two, four, two pounds. He's only two and Gosh! Another A right there. Yes, so we... Nice. It's interesting. Here we are in the fall, October, and we already talked about how wonderful the weather is. He, he ate the white one. Okay. Most, that's the second one on the white. The others have been on that IU color. And right away we got fish, mostly Terry, on the jig. Flipping up real shallow, even into the lily pads. And we got a couple on a chatterbait. And now here, chatterbug, excuse me, chatterbug. And, uh, and now we're getting fish on a rig so keeping an open mind when you're fishing real important being we were talking about today about being diverse and throwing different baits like this and i think uh i don't know so much that the fish have changed as we've just discovered different patterns you know these fish are clearly that we're catching here shad oriented and i think the ones up shallows terry was saying which are bluegill oriented so what a fun day it's turning into You think he wants that that Loch Ness Lures Nessie, huh? Whew. Oh, okay. Get in there. There you got your oh, A-rig yeah. fish. Giant A-rig fish. <laughs> taught by the taught by the mast. There's one. Got him! Oh shoot, that's a good one. There. Another one on the baby one. He just found out he was hooked. All right, keeper fish. Oh man, what a day. The bag up, y'all. You're perfect, right over the top of those weeds. 
definitely some bait fish up in here. There's one. Again. Now that's a little better. He's got a little bit more pull. Yeah. Let's see what we do. Oh, awesome. oh yeah. That's exciting right there. Ooh. Quick release. Quick release. Oh, get out of them weeds. Get out of them weeds. Get out of them weeds. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He hooked up on there. Well, he's running with it. Is that a good fish there? He, nah, he's a wannabe. He needs a couple years and he'll be a five pounder. He's probably a keeper. That's about it. What kind of day it is when you're he, he ain't getting that a little one. fish like that. Two and a half pounder, and you're saying it's no big deal. Yeah, he ate that up though, didn't That's he? Got a whole mouthful of it. Want. He's let this gap right through here. There he is. It used to be really tight. Yeah, a little bit of monkey punch action now. Yep. That's a monkey punch. Punching him now. Gosh, can't hardly go wrong today, Terry. Another Alabama rigged fish, Jerry. Oops, sorry. Okay. He's not small. So, oh, looks like another good one. Decent <laughs> he one. He ain't so shabby, is he? Alright, son. Good old I'll tell you what, there's tournaments you beg to catch five like yeah, that. You are not kidding. Look You'd up. like to have five like that out on Higgins. <laughs> yeah, Higgins Lake for sure. Boy, but beautiful fall fish. Alabama rig. You can see the pad to the left, that's only three foot deep, it's a nice kind of flat, going out a little bit deeper there, throwing that A-rig, and bam, bam. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a mama. Oh, look out from that pier. We don't want you to get in that pier. Oh yeah. Do we swing four pounders? Yes we do. Oh my god, look at that, Derry! Oh man! Had to go back to the jig. Yeah, up against the docks now. The sun's out. One o'clock in the afternoon. Got yourself a big toad. It's a dandy. Man, oh man! Let me just keep keep fat, moving. Fat one. Keep moving. Keep checking out different spots. About as big around as it is long, I think. Man, oh man! That's a chunk and a half. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. <laughs> lighthouses. We got him that time. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. That's the honor of fish today, <laughs> buddy. Oh man, get in here. <laughs> oh, oh, that was Terry. a second chance fish. And oh man, yeah, he bit. I missed. Set the hook, missed him. Went back to him. I assume it's the same fish. Maybe you can get in there and find another yeah. one. Shoot. What a day. That pier right there has got that post off the side of it. I saw that. Why don't you catch that bass? Is there one there? I bet there is. All right. Got a little shade, little sun coming up there. Oh, well, somebody's got to do it. It might as well be me. There you go. That bass rode all over. It does. There's one under there. You ought to hit. There it is. I told you. Oh, my gosh. Don't Here's know, something else. Know. I hope y'all heard what he just did to me there. Oh man. It just looked too good. And there's a three pounder. Dang. Okay, here we are, October 20th. What an awesome, freaking awesome day of fishing, fall fishing. Now, well, something that's unusual being in the Midwest, because that's all we're going to give you. We're in the Midwest somewhere to be wearing short sleeves right now. It's kind of that normal October 20th. Uh, so, I mean, weather's been fantastic. Should have had shorts on. Uh, we were sweating. We were sweating. I got these boots on, these socks on, feet stinking, they're sweating. But man, what a day of fishing. And, and Terry, you were definitely the man today. You put us on so many fish with so many different baits. How would you describe this day? Besides awesome. Well, to me, it's typical fall fishing. I mean, you go out there and kind of almost like a tournament. You got five or six rods laying on deck. Hope you use one. And I mean, today that wasn't the case. We were catching on A-rigs, jigs, um, chatterbugs, pretty much everything we threw today. Yeah, yeah. We caught fish on. There wasn't, I don't think any one bait dominated, maybe a jig. 
Yeah. If anything, probably yeah. a jig. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we caught numbers of fish on everything. Mm -hmm. You we know, did. and then if they'd slow down a little bit, you'd pick up an A rig, bomb a long cast, and catch yeah. another one. Oh man. You know. And and you can see through the video we caught fish on the monkey punch and the tube and the A rig and uh, uh, don't forget about the crankbait. The bait yeah, one minus man has some on real it. key fish. I mean, our best five were well over twenty pounds today. I'd say. Yeah, we, without question. If we would have caught the ones we lost, heck, like we, we lost some good ones. Some of, some of them got on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah, some good got, losses on the video. Got some yeah, of those too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. fishing. I'm really good at losing fish. Yeah, yeah. Terry's really good at putting them in the boat. But all the baits we use will, are in the description. Go ahead and click on, or go down through the description and click on the links to those baits. I really appreciate Terry going fishing with me today. You talk about a stand-up guy and, and awesome stuff. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, make comments below. Appreciate the comments. Like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, Deb Gummit, you got to subscribe to this channel. The Hunting a Fish. And Terry, I got good news for you. You are, you're getting your certification. Emma? You are, you are an official Hunter of fish. There you go. He's actually, you. <laughs> it's a big moment in life. It's like a rite of passage here for Terry. <laughs> and uh, my gosh, awesome day of fishing. The next level. The next, you there. You are there. And until the next time, we will see you on the water.